In this video, we will talk about the view menu of Voxel Dance Additive. There are many tools of view menu to assist to view parts. The first one is to zoom to functions. Click zoom to area in the view panel. Then use the mouse to select a rectangular area and the display window will be enlarged to that area. And by clicking on to zoom all parts, zoom to selected and zoom to platform, the display window will automatically adjust accordingly. The camera pivot function by clicking on any point on the surface of the part to make this point the pivot center. Clicking on the perspective, there's a drop down menu with seven options, which allows you to quickly switch to different view directions, including view front, view rear, view left, view right, view top, view bottom, and view ISO. Clicking on the display mode, you can select the random mode of parts. The commonly used random mode is shade mode, which render parts in light gray. Select tri triangle mode, the part will be shown as triangles. Select wireframe mode, only the boundary of the triangles are shown. Select points mode, the part will be shown as the vertices of all triangles. Select bounding box mode, the bounding box of the parts are shown. Let's go back to the shade mode and check transparent parts as you can see the parts are shown transparently. With check or uncheck part boundary, you can control whether the sharp edge of the part is shown with black boundary line. By checking part projection, the projection of the part in the Z negative direction is shown on the platform. Check or uncheck show platform, you can control whether the platform in the display window is visible. Check or uncheck show ruler, you can show or hide the screen ruler on the left and bottom of the display window. Check or uncheck coordinate system, you can control whether the coordinate system indicator is visible. Check or uncheck part dimensions, you can see the length, width and height of the part. By checking combined bounding box, the length, width and height of the selected parts will be displayed. By checking random color, you can set random color for the parts. By checking tag ID, you can tag all the parts with serial number and the ID of the parts are shown on the part list. By checking tag names, the name of each part will be shown. By checking tag path, in the part is saved locally, the saved path of the part will be shown. I hope this video is informative for you and thank you for watching.